So welcome back. We're in the truck again. I know this is uh, new, but you know it's one of those things where I'm, I'm in a, an interesting moment. Kind of, I'm just kind of, you know, I'm busy. I'm working. I'm doing a lot of things kind of right now, and I've got a lot of kind of other stuff I have to do. You know, in life, I admit. Um, I wish I had a chance to do more of these. I wish I had more time because honestly, there's a little bit of my schedule gets fairly packed, and I'm trying to like you know kind of change things up that would make it a little bit easier. And I admit there's some of the fire that's kind of gone I know usually I kind of get these you know I'll get like I know when I did the campaign diaries it was usually pretty easy because it was like okay we've had a session I need to do a campaign diary within the next couple days um that's just been more difficult to doing honestly because we've been playing fairly regularly and so there's a little bit of okay every week there's another one oh, I gotta get back on track and I might do kind of a bit of a recap you know kind of get us caught up because there's been some interesting things and they're on it they're kind of on a, a campaign, a small, a small kind of quest line that I think would be kind of fun. I think it might be kind of cool to do a uh, campaign diary for, and so I might do that. Um, and like, you know, kind of do one that kind of catches us up to that point, and then one or two or three, or however many it kind of takes for them to finish the quest line. You know, I might do that. We'll see. Um, depends on time, depends on kind of what kind of fire I have. Um, I want to do this, though, because it's a Tuesday now, and... Yeah, it's Tuesday. Tuesday, yeah. And I'm trying to get things up on Mondays, and at the same time, I'm trying to, like, you know, I want to get back to Thursdays because I think Thursdays worked well, and I wish I could do two. Again, it's a lot of this kind of how much motivation do I have, but I want to just get a quick one out, and I want to talk about original versus book adventures. You know, Dungeons & Dragons has been, over, has been around for, I think, close to over 40 years now. Maybe even, or I think we're clo cl getting close to 50 years now. And as such, it's gone through five six generations you know editions we've had a number of different you know offshoots like pathfinder for instance and you know the whole idea has been around for so many years and they've been producing ever since really the beginning the some groups like tsr and wizards of the coast have been producing you know official campaign stories for instance like out of the abyss um cult of the reptile god the temple of elemental evil you know some of these some of these books where you can go you can go buy a book and it's got basically all the stories got all the monsters got all the dungeons got everything you need to play the story to play play through the entire adventure and you know those are great and but then there's also the ability to make up your own stuff and personally i do original this might be a little bit biased you know maybe i should I, you know, I, I I own Out of the Abyss, and I've got some PDFs for a couple of other adventures, and maybe I should say, okay, guys, we're going to run you guys through Out of the Abyss, basically. You know, we're going to just go for it. And I could say, you know, I'm going to sit down, I'm going to kind of read the next, you know, couple, like, chapters or so, that way I can understand what the kind of next part is, you know, what's kind of the next storylines, and such. And I could do that, and maybe, that I, and maybe afterwards I should do maybe another one of these where I can say, okay, how do I feel about it now? Maybe I'll do that. That might be kind of fun to try. Um, however, in the meantime, I'm going to, I, I, I do original and it's because I'm a creative person. I have, I have with my, with my girlfriend, we oftentimes what we'll do is we'll get to, we'll sit down. We'll, well, we sit down, but we kind of over text or over video chat. We'll kind of go over some ideas and we'll come up with some, whatever kind of the next chapter is, whatever the next part is in our adventure. And part of that is it gives me a chance to flex our creative wings. She and I are both kind of, you know, amateur author adventurers. You know, we, we kind of like stories and we like to create our own stories. And so by creating our own, the original D&D content, it allows us to kind of get some of it out without having to either write an entire book or an entire short story or such, you know. I know that's a personal thing. For some people, they're just not as creative. They want to run D&D &D and they've got cool ideas and they've got, you know, fun stuff they want to do, but they don't have that same creativity in which case i say yeah go ahead and use uh, use an adventure use a pre-printed adventure and i think those there is a lot of quality to them i think they're very good i think you need to not follow them word for word it's a matter of spirit of the law versus letter of the law i think it's definitely a spirit of the law thing when going using these adventures but i think they're very helpful and i'm not saying you shouldn't use them i'm just saying personally i like to create my own personal content that's how i do it everything i do is custom i steal a lot of ideas like you know for instance i'll admit the 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 fitz herbert chronicles that party they're going through a stuff that's basically the temple of elemental evil now i heard the temp if you read the adventure it's actually pretty hard to understand and so what i did is i just kind of scrapped it and i kind of just did my own idea but i took this idea this temple of elemental evil that's rising and now there's a bunch of chaos and stuff like that and i create all my own stuff i just took the core ideas 
And I think that's been a lot of fun because it's given me kind of a structure. I've been gaining the kind of the skeleton and now I get to fill in all the muscles, all the organs, all the flesh, everything. I get to add everything I want to it. I just have to kind of take the bare bones idea. And that's been fun for me. I think my players have enjoyed it and it gives them, I think, a little bit of personal flair and it allows me to make my changes a little more easily. It means when something changes, I don't have to like, oh crap, how is this going to affect everything else in the book? It's like, oh, I made this change last second. Now I have to just say, okay, how is this going to affect things? And we'll just kind of build from there. I think it makes my life a lot easier. I think it's more fun. Again, if you're not, if you don't feel as creative or if you don't have time, there's plenty of online stuff to just go through. You can find PDFs, you can buy books. There's there's a new num there's numerous ways and it's it, it's phenomenal and I, that's one of the great things about D and D is we have a huge pool to draw from that we can either just take straight up and use it kind of word for word or we can just take ideas from it and create our own content. It's up to your choice again as always as you are the DM. So that's a quick one. Um, yeah, we'll kind of we're gonna we're gonna be playing things a little bit by ears. We keep going and as always, guys, stay cool.